this is sort of like a final audition to make your case to make the team? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, every time you're out there, it's pretty much an audition. So um, I think this this was another one of them. So uh, it was good to get the win tonight and kind of get rolling a little bit. You feel like things kind of clicked for you tonight a bit? It just seemed like you had a great game from start to finish. Um, yeah, I mean, we had a couple of good, uh, good offensive shifts to start the game. So that definitely helps you kind of get in the groove and get feeling things and uh, legs felt good so um, I was just kind of fortunate the way it started off and kind of pulled through. Do you think probably... you've done enough this camp to, to earn a roster spot? Um, I mean yeah, I, th I think I was pretty good for the most part. Um, I mean that's up to those guys so I try not to really think about that too much. Um, kind of just play hockey so obviously today was a, was a good step. And did you control what you could control you? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think maybe for the most part, um, played pretty well. So um, I'm just trying to kind of learn the systems, get comfortable with the guys, and um, help us win. Are you proud of the goal or the play you made the set of Rusty School? That was a pretty alert play there with the misfire there. <laughs> I'm an assist guy, so the play for sure. Gotcha. What stands out to you about the way that Sid and Jake play together now that you're experiencing it from their side and being on, on their team? Uh, I mean, my first year is COVID year, so I played in some eight times. Um, and uh, they're unbelievable. So, um, I mean, being on the same team, wearing the same jersey, watching how creative they are together and their chemistry, um, it's, it's really nice to play with. And I think I can kind of read off those guys and, and uh, kind of help create offense when we're out there with them.